Hello, snare drummers. Let's go over this week's lesson. Remember, practice in steps. Count and clap your rhythms. Speak your letter names. Down here. Play the song. Review any difficult spots. Keep a steady beat. All right, number one, stepping up to the plate. Directions. Notice the rhythms in this song are eighth and quarter note patterns. Keep a steady beat and count throughout the exercise. One and two and three and four and. Here it is on the first line again to help us out. And I'll play this using a metronome at 70 beats per minute. It sounds like this. And I'm going to start with a right hand lead. Here it comes. One, two, three. Number two. Now, what I'd like you to do with number two is to use this as an exercise to build hand-to-hand -hand speed. So I'm going to take this metronome and I'm going to play it at 70 beats per minute. And then whenever I practice, I'm going to bump it ahead. Every time I'm successful, I bump the metronome ahead by four clicks. 70, 74, 78, 82, 86, etc. So I'll see how fast I can go. And remember that speed is important, but accuracy is best. So if I get to a spot where my hands get confused, then I'm going to take that metronome and I'm going to back it up a few beats. So let's try this a few times. We'll start at 70. I'm going to bump it up. 74. One, two, number two. Remember that hand-to-hand -hand is a simpler way to say going back and forth. So both those times I've started with my right hand. So I would naturally switch hand-to-hand, -hand, right, left, right, left, right, left, with every stick, with every beat, with every note that comes across. I'm going to bump my metronome up to 78, and I'm going to start with my left hand this time. Here we go.
Well, there's some examples for you, getting up to 78. I could keep going. I want you to practice, though, and go up as well as you can into the 80s, and then try to come back. Try to come back and work back into the 70s if it feels like it's getting a bit too difficult. Okay, now instead of going hand to hand here on number three, we're going to work on our paradiddle speed. Remember, when you say the word paradiddle, your hands have a job. When you think about pair a, uh, you switch hands, right, left. When you say diddle, you stay the same. So pair a uh, diddle becomes right, left, right, right. Or pair a uh, diddle becomes left, right, left, left. Now we're going to work on this with a song called, this is called the Squirrel Song. Okay, last song of the day, we have Lightly Row. Now, we're going to talk about something called swing eighth notes. A swing eighth note is counted the same way. One, two, and three, four, and. But we have a little bit of a lilt, or a little bit of a triplet feel, on our eighth patterns. It's going to match our track pretty well. Hopefully you listen to it and it feels pretty easy the first time. If it doesn't, you can always go back and try it again. So if I'm counting this measure right here, one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and, I would say that that is not swinging. If I swing these eighth notes, they're going to sound a little bit more like a trip bublet, trip bublet, trip bublet, trip bublet. So I would count them like this. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one. Now, a trick for you as you're getting better at your drums, maybe some of you would like to learn how to play the drum set someday. Maybe some of you already do. If you are trying to be a drum set player, I advise that you do this in your right hand on your drum because that will be aiming for your suspended cymbal or your ride cymbal in this case, and you will eventually learn to play this pattern on one hand. So I'm going to play it on the rim of my snare drum with one hand, swing eighth notes. My advice would be to listen to it first few times, then come back and try it. All right, everyone. Hope you had a good time playing lessons today. We'll see you on the next time.